Okay, so after a full start call due to massive glare, I'm ready to do my review of the Power Rangers Dino Charge Dino Charge Mazord. Alright, so first things we first things first, what we should get started with is this. This is the charger that came with it. It is a clear version of it. Same basic crappy four-point animation. And on the back it basically just says Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's kind of hard to see because the red and black really do kind of blend. Um, basically, here is the one that you get with the uh, morpher. I know they don't look that much like that different considering the glare, but uh, this one's solid silver, this one's clear. And just to prove it to you, here is the morpher. Okay, get in frame. Okay. And sorry. Yeah, basically same charger as you get with the Morpher. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this is the only charger you get with him. With him, unlike Gabber Ter or unlike the. Uh, um, hang on a second, it'll come to me. Um, the Kyoryujin, where you get actually the three Shudenshi for all three. You only get the one for this guy. But same basic concept, open his mouth, say aww, put it in, close, as you can see, his little feathers popped up. And yes, these are supposed to be feathers. Um, okay, so, I'll be using this one, it is the Paracharger, I believe from the Morpher, I have two of them, so it might be from the uh, Parazord that I will be reviewing today too. But I'll use this one to basically uh, show the activation, the feature activation for the other two. So, but first, actually, let's do a little look, see, at this guy, generally. This side is beautifully painted, however, he does not have sounds. Uh, basically, this is where the button is on the Gabutera, but it's basically just solid. His tail is a bit different, it's a bit longer, thinner. Um, his legs do not come off, um, and nor can you pop them off and basically put in like other legs, which is kind of the downside. However, he does have uh, three extra Zord Builder ports. Two on the legs, one on the shoulder here, which is a very good concept. I haven't done it yet, but you actually can put the Parazord on here. So it looks like he's got like a shoulder cannon. You could only do that with pieces from um, um, Ruggy Gus, which sadly I also do not have. But let's move these guys aside for a little bit because here is Gabutera. As you can see, much bigger, a little bit more cooler. And let's put your Zudenshi in, yeah? As you can see, all his feathers are all down. Put it in, and there. They all pop up like that. Whereas this one, the top two are just molded. But other than that, um, actually, he's almost the same size. A little bit smaller. But still, pretty passable. Uh, he is missing paint apps on his legs, which this guy has. And these pieces don't fold down, which is weird. Uh, he's missing paint apps on the tail. Um, also on the other side of the arms. Like that. So it'll make him look a little plain. But other than that, he's actually pretty possible. Um, another notice thing you should probably notice here is that the uh, port for the arms is black, whereas on this guy it's just red. 
um, yeah, so he will make it apparent again when I combine them. Okay, now we'll work with Stegoji and I want to say Stegoji Jr. Okay, so we take the Stegoji charger or Jurenji, sorry, and uh, stick it in there. And then, okay, this, yeah. put it in. As you can see, his little blade pops up, and it, it does have multiple colors. The paint on this guy is really, really nice. Actually, I noticed that the only real paint that this guy is missing is just on the weapon. But unfortunately, he does have a massive drawback. So since I don't have the uh, Stegosaur charger, we will have to use this one. I also noticed that the mouth on this guy is a little bit loose. Okay. Just so you know, what you're about to see is actually one of the worst points I have in the line. Okay, put the thing in, and it goes like really high. You can set it to here and make it show accurate, but that's as high as it goes. You may also notice that there is sadly no coloring on the blade, which sucks. There is also another drawback. Well, actually the main drawback I have, and this you'll get this with any one of them, you can't shut the damn mouth. Whereas this one, you can shut the mouth. See? If I open this guy up, you can actually see the Judenshi in there. That is something I was kind of looking forward to on these. Unfortunately, we didn't get. Or, sorry, these. These guys have them. These guys don't. And I, 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 I should also mention that the uh, Judenshi, or the um, Stegosaur Zord, or the Stegosaurd, or whatever they're going to call them, I don't know yet. Sorry. Is really the poorest of them, I think. And that's pretty much of all the, uh, like of all the ones that are going to come out. Like, he looks very basic, like very McDonald's-like. But, as I said, there is another major drawback. You can pop this off, which becomes a shield weapon. Or, when they're all in there, a sword weapon, which looks pretty awesome. And yes, you can actually stick this in um, Tokyo's arm or hand to make the... the... Um, Kyoru Tokyo featuring Deno thing. I'll get to that. Don't worry, I'll get to that. Unfortunately, this guy cannot open. It is stuck like this. You can get a decent sword out of it, but that's about it. And it also loses a lot of the flash because it's not covered. Okay. So but I'm going to introduce you to an interesting little feature that they have on these. One thing that really was kind of poor about the Kyoru line was the fact that you needed to put the Judenshi into the figure in order to get it to activate. Um, you can, you could do it manually, but it didn't really work. Um, unfortunately, that basically meant that if you bumped him and the feature went back in. Sorry, I'm just going to put this back on so he doesn't look stupid. Um, basically, you'd have to take the figure off, open him up, eject the thing, put the thing back in, and then hope you didn't do it again. With these, there's no... I'm just going to show you there's no charger in him right now. But all of them have a switch on the back. And with that switch, you just slide it, and the feature activates. That I like because that means you don't have to pluck everything off in order to get everything reset. However, this, the fact that it goes out this far is kind of poor. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Okay, now we'll get to the Tricera one. I have everything here, and it's just kind of well scary. Uh, same basic thing. Uh, but there is a lot of changes on this. For instance, missing coloring on the shield. The shield is just straight pink. As you can see, whereas this one is actually a uh, 
gray piece painted yellow and also the big black bar there. And the tail, this is just gray plastic with a yellow tip. This is sil uh, silver plastic with a gray tip. Um, okay, one thing you're no going to notice is that there are those. That's basically because she can't do that. I basically left that in as a mold, which basically means that these are going to be on the shoulders. Or part of the shoulders. But, uh, okay, open her up. And then uh, open you up. Okay. So, did I set a brave in? Okay. Yeah. So you put the Judenshi in Drysera and her tail elongates. If you want to make a joke or something about that, that's fine. Just don't make it too dirty in the comments. Whereas this one, you stick it in, push it all the way back, and then of course it won't close, sadly. It won't close. But basically, yeah, the tail pops out. This does not elongate though, the little tip. It's basically stuck like that. Okay. So, in terms of actual... I like her. I do. My dad doesn't like her because she's pink, but that's just because she's pink. And he does he thinks that it needs to be like a manly color. It's like you really don't get like super sentai, do you? Okay. So I am gonna show you a really neat, cool trick that you can do. Just after I eject that. This is really cool. I don't know if it was intentional or not. Maybe it's just the way they designed it so that it'll actually fit in the package, but if you pop this off, you can actually pop that off. Stick that on there. Stick that on there, and you have two cool new dinosaur species that are just looks awesome. Triceratops looks better with the, uh, uh, looks more better with the um, plates. And uh, he does with the drills, but that's just because you just plain suck, don't you? Yes. Uh, features, however, will not activate. On this one they will, on this one they won't. That's just because of the way the pigs were kind of designed inside, sadly. Okay, so now that we got that all straightened out and these guys are all kind of put together, how about we combine them? Yeah. Now that, in order to do this, what we need to do is grab him by the tail and rip the rip the sucker off. Just rip it off. Okay. Now I'm gonna do that with this guy too. So he's stuck on there. And now he won't sit straight. Okay. So this is the tail for Gabutera. This is the one for uh, the Tyrannosaurus Ord. You may notice that it is quite a bit smaller. So you're probably thinking, well, where's the helmet going to go? Well, with Kabutera, the helmet is inside here, which is nice. Because it's out of the way, and you don't have to set it aside when you're playing with it. For this, open her up. Nothing. Just a big kind of shield-like thing. Has something sort of like wings. Unfortunately, okay, just kind of up and go like that, and then twist. There's the main body. Unfortunately, the helmet is right here, right between his freaking legs, probably in his butt. Okay, so in order to get the figure to stand correctly, you'll notice that there are two little pegs here, and there are also two. I don't know if you can see them little holes on the feet. Now it takes me a bit to get them in because for some reason they don't want to stay in. But get in there, get in there, get in there. Once you get them in aligned with the holes and they sink in. Stability doesn't really matter with this, but I just like to do it just because it doesn't make him look like he's got a open mic. Which is good. Okay. 
course, the arms do fold, which is nice. Forgot to show that. Okay. And yes, he poops his helmet. Okay. Now, I know this is not how they do it in the show. I don't know if they're going to, well, if they use the co or stuff, which they probably will, they will um, probably be the same way. But I put that on first, simply because it's not out of the way. It's Okay, so there's the main body. Okay, now, thanks. Uh, I want to call him Tsukochi. I want to call him Tsukochi and Tricera, just because, like, Stegosaur Zord and Triceratop Zord and Tyrannosaur just... Sounds bland. Okay, but anyway, you fold the legs like that. And, yeah, you can take that off. And, let's see if I can remember how to do this right. Okay. You can take that off and put it in as a sword, which I will do later. But honestly, I don't like to put him like that. Even in Gabutera, I don't. There's a reason for that because I think he looks cooler with this with the plates. With the fins, with the whatever. Okay. So same basic thing for uh, Dreisara, just do that. And then uh, open the mouth, stick the peg in. You can have the chargers in there. I'll just show you really quick. Just so you don't call me a liar. Okay. So I can do that. But I'm going to leave them out until I get the actual chargers for them. And then of course you put take this. There are two pegs on the back. Stick them do I have the right ones? Okay, and there you go, the Dino Charge Megazord, and his full completeness. Of course, you could add the sword. I can find a peg. There they are. Okay. Dynamite! Sorry, I had to say that. I did. Unfortunately, if you have this fully extended, it does make him a little bit unstable. So, and of course, being the sword with it is being bland. I always like to have him, at least when I was at my parents' place shortly after I bought him, I always like to have it like this. All right. And yes, you can extend that. I'm not even going to pull the switch. I'm just going to do it like this. But that looks kind of dumb, and even that looks kind of dumb. So I just leave it, just leave it like that. All right, and to complete this review, I'm just going to quickly assemble this guy. You should notice that I have disabled the sound on him. I did shut him off because I want to save that for the actual review. Because believe me, I want to review this guy in full when I get a chance to. Okay. I'm not going to explain the transformation for this guy, because like I said, I want to review him in full. And... Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, I'm not going to... Oh, of course. It's been a while since I've actually had this guy transformed. So it's only natural that I'd make some mistakes. Unfortunately, I am only human. Unfortunately, I am only human. that this video is like almost 20 minutes long. I don't want to make I didn't want to make it that long. Especially since it's probably gonna take a couple hours to upload. Okay, do I want to go right wrong? Okay. His horns came off, or her horns came off. Okay. And bingo bango. So the two side by side are unfortunately quite a bit bigger. I'll try to get this a little bit higher. Higher. Higher and higher. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this guy is quite a bit bigger than this guy, obviously. 
Um, but all in all, you don't actually get a piece of crap like the Samurai Megazord. Because there's a reason why I call it shit kennel. Okay, so now that that is done. I hope you enjoyed this review, because next I'm going to be doing the Para and Raptor Zords. You should also note that I have not combined those two with this guy yet, so it'll be a first for me too. Okay, so see you next time.